This image tells us everything we need to know about these two, right? Well, you might think you know who they are and what they stand for, but you'd be wrong. In fact, new research has found that being a 16 to 24 year old actually means this. Listen here, half of us donate cash frequently and that adds to the 62 million pounds a year and we're twice as likely to volunteer. Imhotep, who's 19, is an actor and poet, but he's also involved in charity work. Ami and Arta went to school with murdered teenager Kyan Prince and has just made a short film about knife crime. So what kind of assumptions do you think people make about you? Black, hoodie, street thug, but that's not who I am. I've done a range of charity work for many organisations, some which promote AIDS awareness, um, um, women's rights, and I'm going to Ghana in a little bit to work with some street children, so I'm not a hoodie. Yeah, I do understand why people um, make these assumptions, I guess, because watching the news, um, it does come across as it's always the young people that are committing these crimes, but they're a minority and it's not fair to generalise. That's not who I am. Ami and Arta's film shows she has a highly developed social conscience and she's not the only one. At just 17, both Helen and Emma are campaigners for Amnesty. So girls, do you think the reputation that your generation's got is unfair then? Yeah, I think it's really unfair because um, it's only a minority of young people who do behave antisocially and it's only because they're the loudest that they get the most media attention. And the rest of us who um, just quietly get on with uh, charity work and such like, we don't get as much attention. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think we're always being told that our futures are at stake with climate change and things like international conflict. And I think we kind of feel like it's our responsibility to do something about it. And it's our responsibility to make sure we don't write them off before they've had a chance to. Ruth Liptrot, Five News.